identify as a consumer survivor? Yes, I do. That's splendid. So I'm going to ask you some questions. And my first one is, what is your best coping tool to sort of help you in your recovery? Well, okay, so the best coping tool for me is like the realization that um, if you sit down with your psychotic symptoms or with the voices in your head or anything that sort of disturbs you, and you sit down and you know, sometimes the mental hospital is the best place to do this because they literally won't let you move. So you sit down with that and get to know intimately this feeling of psychosis and terror and, and voices telling you they hate you and stuff like that, then it actually just becomes something positive. Like it itself, the psychosis itself, in okay. my opinion, is something positive and that's how I cope. Okay. Okay, so I have some more questions. Um, so, in the span of your recovery, do, do, are you in a process of recovery right now? Mm -hmm. So, what was the turning point for you in your recovery? There were a couple. The first turning point was in the mental hospital when I realized that um, I do not... I, I have some influence over the way the world works. Yeah. Like it, it isn't all s bad stuff happening to me because of some terrible conspiracy against me in my life. That's the first step. And then the second step, ironically, is just realizing that psychosis is, is far more desirable to medication. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone was asking me about being bipolar, and I was like, I like the highs and lows. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so um, let's see. So, what are your what is your hope for the mental health system in the future? Okay, so my hope for the mental health system in the future is that we completely abolish the fundamental psycho the, 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 the fundamental philosophical basis of psychiatry as we see it. Why don't you go ahead and say that line again one more time? That we fundamentally ab abolish the philosophical basis of the psychiatric um, system right now. And that fundamental assumption is that it is possible that the mind can be diseased. It is not possible for the mind to be diseased. It's possible for the brain to be diseased. But your soul is not a disease. You are not a disease. Period. And I mm. want that to go away. Okay, so I guess I'll ask one more question. Um, who was one of the most supportive people in your life that helped you in your recovery? My spiritual teacher, actually, my, my lama in the Tibetan Buddhist uh, Gaelic tradition was the most beneficial because he would say, I, I went to a Vipassana retreat and I said, you know, I think those guys are all a bunch of cultists. They're trying to like, they're trying to like control my mind. And then he's like, you're, you're right, they are. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, you know, I really think I should run away to Canada and like leave my home and just never come back. And he's like, well, maybe you should. <laughs> Go ahead, try it. And then I and then I was like, I really don't like these medications. I want to come off of them right now. And he's like, do it. <laughs> How did that make you feel? It sounds like he really validated. How did that make yes, you feel? Yes, that validation is. It, it made it. You know, people think that if you validate a psychotic experience, that therefore you're supporting the suffering of the psychotic experience. It's absolutely, ridiculously wrong. If you validate the psychotic experience, you the the the, the suffering goes away immediately, like that. It goes mm -hmm. away immediately, and um, because, in my opinion, all of the suffering caused by psychotic experiences are caused by the terror you have of other people reacting to your psychotic symptoms, not because of the psychotic symptoms themselves. If you could give someone who is struggling in their path of recovery is in a really low point, if you could give them some advice, something that you know is really profound to you, something that really helped and you wish that more people knew it, that, what is that message? What would that be? The message is that that there is no suffering experience that does not go away and that that the that positive experiences you create the positive experiences yourself the suffering experiences that you have 
just if you just let them go away they will go away on their own and since you create the positive experiences yourself therefore you're it's, it's all you you're gonna be okay because you're the one doing it to yourself the positive stuff